we got married in the morning and then uh, went birding in the afternoon. <coughs> Do you remember Alice at work? She, she always saying to me, you want to take Cynthia for a proper night out dancing or some, or something. So I went in the next day, I said, took Cynthia out last night. I said, oh, where did you take her? I said, to sewage farm. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything more, really. <laughs> Brett has his heart set on adding to his list this autumn. At 64, he's just months away from retirement, and with few savings, he won't be able to afford to twitch for much longer. Is it going to be strange retiring? Will you be able to go twitching? I will for a while, and then I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll have to see how I can make some more money somehow. I am a bit concerned because if I can't go twitching, I know it'll hurt me a lot, you know. Do you think twitching is that sort of form of escapism? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's a very, very weird experience because, you know, from the, the time that, that pager goes off and there's a rare bird somewhere, you get transformed into this world of sort of make-believe. It's, it's a very weird sensation, and you just feel so happy. It's an adventure, it's a journey, it's everything. You know, you just you don't know what's going to happen. So you forget about problems. I, I tell you, what, I've got no problems when a bird turns up. I don't think there's no there's no problem in the world. I forget that I'm married, unfortunately, and I've got a child. Even that I forget. The autumn twitching season is in full swing with rare birds being spotted all around the UK. In Oxen, the azure and the yellow leg girl was just shown again. But whilst twitchers are focused on the birds, one man is obsessed with checking if the twitchers really are seeing the birds they claim. You mention the word Lee Evans and it polarises people. My job is almost like being like the Prime Minister, like being Gordon Brown. There's no one that polarises people more than me. 